right so that is called connected speech uh, in mm -hmm. connected speech what happens uh, because this is an unstressed vowel sound most of the times it gets lost in the speech right okay. so uh, which is why uh, sometimes when you look at the words on their own we find it a little difficult to identify this uh, uh, shwa particularly all the other vowel sounds are enunciated properly so not a a uh, problem but with respect to shwa the problem is since it is unstressed and it is not very uh, clearly articulated in connected speech people seem to miss it in the word but when you speak the word slowly you can actually hear the shwa sound when you say individual right in connected speech it just goes very fast it's almost you know um, out of your uh, ears you really cannot hear them properly you uh, say the word slowly individually to yourself you can hear it very properly right uh, that's the catch okay and, and ma'am in this uh, subterranean in this there is no swa sound right in subterranean uh, yeah. no subterranean no, so, so it will be five syllable correct yes yes uh, okay. check how many subterranean uh, correct okay so uh uh subterranean also should have a just a minute subterranean yeah the second syllable in this one also has a schwa sound after the, okay it's so not the subterranean it's subterranean right so, so uh, after the you have a schwa sound here the first one is a uh, uh, the in the syllable sub then Uh, the schwa sound in ch the second uh, one second syllable then i'm there i'm not getting this schwa sound there after ch ch where okay. is ch not ch ch terrenian right after terrenian yeah it's not ch it's ch in english subterranean uh, oh it's ch so okay yeah subterranean after ch yeah. you have the a uh, sound to. then a and then year at the end so the song in this case so how many it should be how many songs do you have so 1 2 3 and you need mm -hmm. to count the syllables to get the vowel sounds and tell me how many you have if you know how to count the vowel sounds it shouldn't be a problem so hmm. what's the first one o sound after i mean so right. o sound then you have yes o sound which is a schwa sound then you have a then you have e and then a uh, the end so five syllables total sub che re ni n okay all right okay so each, sil each syllable should con uh, consist of uh, one vowel right For, sorry uh, each uh, syllable should consist of one uh, vowel Yes, that's right. That's right. Every syllable actually has one. So that's how we can sound. distinguish how many syllables. Are. Yes, yes, yes. That is how you should be doing it. You know, any other methods, um, they might be okay for a few words, but you could get wrong when you use tricks to uh, solve these kind of things. So as much as possible, try and apply the uh, theory that you know. For syllable, you know, the syllable complex is made of uh, combination of vowels and consonant sounds. consonant sounds are not as important in the formation of syllable as uh, vowel sounds vowel sounds are what form the nucleus of uh, the syllable okay nucleus is by nucleus we mean the main part of uh, the structure of the syllable so um every syllable is going to have one vowel sound with it right and which is why the number of syllable sorry number of vowel uh, sounds in the word gives you the total number of syllables in that word Okay. This should be the method you should be using to identify the vowel. Sorry, the syllable numbers in a word. Uh, this doesn't get you wrong, anyway. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll share my screen. Uh, one minute. Oh. I'm not able to find the document. Just a minute. Ma'am, one more question. Uh -huh. May I? Sure. I'm trying to answer one more question. Sorry. Oh, have it. Ma'am, I have a question. Uh, Can someone? Are both of you speaking? Ah, uh, Anusha, just a minute. I'll uh, talk to Amita and come back to you. Yes, yes. 
मैम इन टेलीविजन सिंस एस आई ओ एन इज अ लास्ट दिस स्पेशल सफिक्स देन द वन बिफोर द टेलीविजन लाइक वी शुड बी स्ट्रेस्ड राइट Okay, S I O N is not a suffix in that word. I think we've discussed. Ah, uh, means the special. Uh, what you had in the lectures you have mentioned, like take uh, S I O N, T I O N. No, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, the lecture is not wrong, but uh, instruction is correct except that S I O N in the word television is not a suffix. Okay. Okay. So for that we have to consider television as a noun, and then uh, the first part will be stressed. Yes. Of course, because see. uh the shen that you see at the end of television it is not divisible no to qualify uh for any particle to qualify as a suffix it should be divisible from the main word you should be able to separate the word into a root word and the suffix in the case okay. of okay you cannot okay right? okay i got it ha ah. thank you ma'am yeah. okay okay anusha go ahead you had some yes ma'am yes ma'am i have a doubt ma'am in graded mm -hmm. assignment 12 7th question ma'am i did not understand about the subject verb agreement and pronoun antecedent agreement okay mm -hmm. what did you not understand so see subject verb agreement um you know right i don't have to go over it you understand what is the uh, meaning of subject verb agreement pronoun antecedent agreement what is an antecedent antecedent is uh, that which uh, refers to the pronoun right so you have a pronoun and then you have an antecedent which is a reference to the pronoun right so say for example um i saw a scooter um okay i saw a um, scooter on the way it was black in color okay what is the pronoun here in the sentence i saw a scooter on the way it was black in color pronoun in the sentence it it right it is the pronoun and what is this it referring to scooter scooter right the scooter so the scooter is the antecedent for the pronoun it that is what it means now in this case it is simple because you only have one uh, you know uh, noun here but in cases where you have more than one for example i say i saw a scooter and a car on the way and then i say it was black in color right so i do not know that uh, whether the it refers to the scooter or the car right in writing you are um, the recommended version is that you specify which one was black you can't use it although grammatically it looks all right sometimes actually in fact grammatically also it is not consistent the pronouns and the antecedent should be consistent right but since in this case you are referring to only one of it then you will have to be more specific since you have two nouns in the initial sentence and uh, you do not the the listener doesn't know whether you are referring to the uh, scooter or the car you will have to repeat that thing again okay well, depending on which one is black so i saw a scooter and a car on the way the car was black in color okay or the scooter was black in color but you have to particularly specify you cannot use it there because you have what you have two subjects here now right that's the problem uh, that what that is what is meant by pronoun antecedent agreement you need to see that the there's a good agreement between uh, the pronoun used and what it refers to if there's an ambiguity then you need to resolve it by specifying the noun again instead of using the noun sorry pronoun okay okay thank you that is what it means okay all right let me see if i can share the screen ah yeah can uh we'll start off now so you have uh, questions from phrasal verbs um uh, agreement subject verb agreement mostly articles and uh, phrases and idioms okay so that's what we are going to do agreement like i already mentioned has about 40 sentences we're not going to be taking up all of them we'll take half of it so you can practice once you have the document uh, which would definitely be up in another one or two days so maybe by wednesday you can expect this one and the one which was used in the previous class the ones before that were already uploaded if you haven't as uh, you know had a chance to look at it or haven't accessed it yet please go through the uh, documents uh, under the supplementary tab for english one okay okay let's start with this uh, so this is fill in the blanks using suitable verbs and particles with form a meaningful phrasal verb complex so i think the first one 
uh, would be uh, to uh, fill up the verbs and then I think the next eight would be to fill up the particles that follow the verb. Okay, so uh, let's begin doing this. The first one, what time did Julie and Dave that went, went off, went off, took off, marched took off. off, marched off, okay. It's did then take off. Yes, any other answers? Took off. Took off. Do you usually say for people to uh, uh, use that with people taking off? Can you all hear me or not? Yes, yes ma'am. We can hear you. Get off or go off. Time did Julie and Dave get off? No. Go off, maybe. Go off. Okay. Okay. So you, you can use the phrasal verb set. Okay. Set, set off. off. Set okay. off. Okay. Yeah. Can use ED since did this there. No, you cannot use ED. Then you're using, uh, anyway, that was not the question. But if you have already did in the uh, yes, sentence, yes. Then again, don't use ED along with it. Okay, no double past tense constructions. Okay, uh, set off is the answer. Now, second one, where did you dash up? You could have multiple answers. So for example, somebody is asking you about, okay, you give me the answer. I'll listen to it. Simple answer, where did you? Come up. Okay. You will have uh, options. I have not placed the options so that you can also learn the phrasal verb as well. Come up. Where did you come up? What will that mean? Meet up. What is it? Sorry. Meet. M meet up. Where did you meet up? Huh? You can say, where did you meet up? Huh? Grow up. That's also a good. Uh, yeah. Grow up was what I was looking for. Meet up is also correct. So where did you? Meet up is also a uh, correct answer. Grow up is also a good answer. There could be multiple choices for this, you know. Um, third one, will you dash up the doctor's number? This is easy. Look up, right? Will you look up the doctor's number yes. in the phone book? Right. Don't forget to dash the heating off when you go out. Turn. Turn the heating off, okay? Or turn off the heating. Uh -huh, turn off the heating, huh? This is because this is what? This is a separable phrasal verb, right? Uh, so you can insert personal pronouns or uh, object noun in between them. Uh, that is okay. That's all right. But you can either say turn off switch or you off. can also say switch off. Yes, you can say switch off also, okay? Any For appliances, you can usually say turn off or switch off. Both are uh, fully applicable. Uh, fifth one, we dash into it in supermarkets yesterday. Ran into. This is an expression. Ha, ran into. Run into is an expression that you used to see that you accidentally met somebody at some place. Right. So this is the answer uh, here because uh, yesterday you already have the tense given. Hence, you're going to use the past tense. We ran into uh, Peter at the supermarket yesterday. Uh, sixth one, Millie's parents dash for her children while she's at work. This is another phrasal verb that you use instead of or in place of the complex look after. Millie's parents dash for her children. Yeah. Take care. For 
her children while she is at work. I am leaving. I can't dash up with this situation any longer. This is also a very common phrase. I can't cope up with the situation. Uh-huh. I can't give up. I can't be. But ma'am, here it should be. I can't cope with this situation. Not up. Like I don't know. I feel. Yeah. Cope up is the wrong usage. A lot of people use this one. you cope with problems you don't cope up with anything okay you either uh, say cope with or you use a different expression cope up is a wrong expression i was just so, taking answers from people so it should not be cope right here seventh ha no no it cannot be cope yeah okay i am leaving i can't put up with the situation i cannot put up with you any more means what i cannot take you in enough i've had enough with you i can't tolerate you anymore i cannot put up with this situation i cannot bear with this situation that's what it means right so i am leaving i can't put up with this situation any longer this is somebody who is fed up they can't take anything more out of that okay so put up is the expression charlie still has an eighth one charlie still hasn't made dash made up made, up. made his mind up made his mind up okay so made up is the expression that you are using made his mind up is the full expression because this is also a separable phrasal verb so you have can insert uh, object nouns and personal pronouns in between made up is the phrasal verb okay uh, charlie still hasn't made his mind up about which laptop to buy okay all right um i'll scroll a little bit okay uh next one um my mother can work dash how to use her new mobile phone work out work out work out okay any other answers it's normally figure out we ha ah, figure out work out no work out is also very common no work out a problem right so that is uh, right my mother can work out how to use her new mobile phone okay uh, you could also use make out okay that is also a usage you can uh, bring in here both are right next one ma'am, marks and yes ma'am in the exam are we going to get options and then we have to select or we have to put uh, right by ourselves you have options no uh, you okay, always okay, get options here you are given yeah. cq style exam so. okay then hmm. yeah Max enrolled on a course to brush dash on his German. Brush up, brush up, brush up, brush up, right? Brush up on your skills. So any skill could fit there. Brush up on his German. The actor walked dash the stage and went back to his dressing room. Walked upon the stage. Walked down the stage. Back to his dressing room. Walked on the stage. On the stage. On the stage. Down. Walk down, walk down the stage. No, it says went back to his dressing room. Why will they walk on the stage if they have to do that, right? So the actor walked off the stage and went back to his dressing room. Okay. Uh, fourth one. This information is important, so make sure you write it down. Down, right? It's a very simple expression. Write it down. Uh, then. my parents uh, are always going dash about my clothes and my friends worried no 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 we, what are we doing we are using particles uh, phrasal verbs we are constructing you know so it has to be some sort of an adverbial particle ideally a prepositional element right so my parents are always going you could you could choose something between back down off on out over up hmm? high going high going high going that means high. to get angry do you do we have an expression called going high for getting angry i do not not aware of that uh, my parents are always going 
you've heard the expression called going on right going on sometimes people also use going on and on right so uh, what you about can against that, going against going on but with against we cannot use about right immediately against about my clothes we can only say going against my clothes but this about will not fit right going against my clothes is also a bad usage uh, but going on again uh, sorry going against about is definitely a bad usage okay we don't uh, do that uh, here you will use on okay my parents are always going on about my clothes and my friends which means they keep speaking they keep talking about it all the time right the uh, in a in a negative way that is uh, she has been uh, criticized regularly about her friends and clothes that is what the expression is right the idiomatic meaning of something is been going on and on okay so on is what you will use here going on next uh, this milk smells horrible i think it's gone bad <laughs> gone is okay but we are looking at phrasal verbs right so the, like i just told you it has to be an adverbial particle that follows the verb in order to make it a phrasal verb complex so you'll have to choose between uh, the adverbial particles which are mostly prepositional elements okay so ha uh, gone gone off gone off okay i think it's gone off it means spoiled okay this milk smells horrible i think it's gone off means it's spoiled so gone off is the expression that you used to refer to something that has gone bad okay something that's spoiled gone off seventh one we'll go dash your ideas and get back to you next week true bye true go by we'll go, go through go through yeah go through your ideas yes yeah, go good. through is a normal usage which is not a phrasal verb uh, usage uh, go with your ideas go over okay go over. That's okay go over i will go over your plan i'll go over your proposal and get back to you i'll go over your answer sheets and get back to you with the correction right so go over go over is what you used to uh, refer to looking through somebody's work okay or uh, studying something in detail go over simply does not mean i look at it it means that i am going to study it seriously okay and then get back to you okay uh, now i think this is the last one he is always borrowing money from me but he never pays it back back, back. pays it back okay pays it off pays it off no pay off means to you know uh, it's a uh pay off is a different kind of a phrasal verb okay uh, it does not have the meaning of pay back pay back is uh, really giving uh, you know something that you have borrowed uh, pay off is um, mm, related you know, to it salary a benefit ah uh, it is related to salary pay off is ma'am you are not audible am i not audible now you are yes, now you just now we okay pay off means uh, you know uh, something that is beneficial when i ask what is the pay off it uh, means i am asking for what would be its uh, advantage or what would be the benefit okay so it is a different phrasal verb than pay back they are very um, ma'am ma can you please uh, tell me again the uh, sixth one milly's parents Millie's parents. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, Millie's parents. Ah, uh, dash for her children while she's at home. Huh, care for. Care for. Yeah. Am are we going to get the answer key as well with the document? Answer key. You may not yeah. get the answer key. Ah, uh, which is why we have the session. We okay. Don't want okay. To do that may be all. Okay. Who ah uh, should learn? They should also listen to the ah. Uh, Lecture, no. Anyway, we are not discussing anything else. We are only looking at the question. Okay. The hmm. Okay. So that is about it. Uh, he never pays it back. Okay. So understand the difference between pay back and pay off. They are two different phrasal verbs with very different meanings. Ah. Uh, okay. So we come to the next one, which is fill in the blanks. 
और करेक्ट सेंटेंसेस होते हैं मैम यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल अगेन Ah, uh, okay. I might have lost the internet connection. Am I audible now? Yes, yes ma'am. You are audible, ma'am. Now. The screen is visible, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma So the frog said the cottage is very loudly. What's the answer? Croak. Huh? Croak. No. The frog said the cottage is croak very loudly. So plural subject, plural verb. Croak, right? Frog said the cottage croak very loudly. The horses dash wildly across the field. Gallop. 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 Right, the horses gallop wildly across the field. Third one, the herd of horses dash wildly across the field. Gallops. 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 Why? Because herd is Horse. singular. Herd is singular. Collective noun. Mm. Yeah. Collective noun. Yes. Fourth one, there dash been many hurricanes this year. Have. Have been. Has been. There have Had. been. Have been. Has been. Have been. Have been. Have been. Because the true subject there is this is a cleft sentence construction. So uh, the actual subject of the sentence is hurricanes, which is plural, right? So which is why you're going to use the plural verb from which is have. There have been many hurricanes this year. The fifth one: the woman with all the cats dash here regularly. Shops. 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 Why? Because the actual subject of the sentence is the woman, which is singular. Singular. Right? Yes. Now the mascot as well as the hockey players dash at the school. Volunteer. 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 Ma'am, you are not audible. Volunteers. Volunteer or volunteers? Volunteer. Volunteer. My volunteer. Hockey players is a plural. So, what is the original subject of the sentence? The mascot as well as the hockey players dash at the school. So the second one we consider right now. No. So, or the first one. Why would you consider the second one? That that is not the question. The question is what subject of the sentence? Because the verb has to agree with the sentence. Both are subject, I think. Both are not subject. Okay, only the mascot is the subject. See, as well as the hockey players, you need to keep in mind any phrase or anything that interferes between the subject and the verb is not considered for 
subject verb agreement only the true subject of the sentence is what um, needs to agree with the verb or vice versa in order to complete the subject verb agreement right in this case as well as the hockey player see what is the test you take it out and still the sentence is fine right uh, you could simply say the mascot volunteers at the sport, right you take out as well as the hockey players and nothing happens to the uh, sentence right so in that case since it is not it does not give you an indication that even that is the subject of the sentence for that to be the uh, subject of the sentence it will it will have to be case number 7 look at this the hockey players and, and the, mascot the mascot at the school now this is a compound subject which means both of these the mascot as well as the hockey players they both are the subjects here this was not the case in the previous one okay mm -hmm. as well as is not same as and okay so only if you have and in between these two things then you treat them as compound subject which is plural and then change the verb accordingly okay in cases where you have as well as along with okay this is uh, a case where uh, you should be careful about you should only choose which one uh, for uh, the one which qualifies to be the true subject right so sixth one the mascot as well as the hockey players volunteers at the school okay with a singular subject seventh one the hockey players and the mascot volunteer volunteer at volunteer. the school which is ha huh, because you have a compound subject which is plural both hockey players and the mascot become subject here now okay the eighth one the hockey players or the mascot dash at the school it's or now it's not the and so you don't have a compound subject only one of it can be the uh, thing right so volunteers. or gives you alternative volunteers. volunteers right volunteers okay now in case you uh, had it the other way round right the mascot or the hockey players dash at the school then what will then be it the will situation? be volunteer then it will be volunteer right so in case where you have or the verb agrees with the noun that is closest to it right the subject that is not the noun the subject that is closest to it so in the eighth case you have here the mascot is the one which is closer to the verb and it is singular so you uh, uh, have to use a singular verb which is volunteers in case you reverse it when hockey players becomes closer to the verb that is the mascot or the hockey players if that was the case then your verb is going to be plural because the subject that is closer to the verb is also plural right that's how ma'am in the case of seventh also be consider the close closeness of the no, no 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 in that no because see you have and no it's a coordinating conjunction it is joining two things together so it is automatically so it is plural, plural now okay yeah yeah only in the case of or you will have to keep this in mind and uh, with expressions like uh, the one you see in sixth one no <coughs> Uh, as well as along with etc etc you know they are not a participant in the subject there is a additional modifier traces uh, given uh, along with the subject they do not participate in subject verb agreement right only the true subject will participate yes, uh, okay so keep these uh, differences in mind while you are uh, answering for subject verb agreement questions now the ninth one our dog unlike our cats go for long walks and chew on large bones do you need a correction or is that sentence fine what do you think our need dog correction. unlike our cats go for sorry it needs correction it needs goes correction. goes right our dog is your true subject unlike our cats is again you know it's very much similar to the as well as the hockey players kind of construction right it's just an extension a modifier extension to the subject it's not the subject itself the subject is our dog ma'am you are not audible okay my audible now Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma um. Okay. So, tenth one. One of the bowls belongs to his mother. Belongs. Next one. What was the bowl issue? Sorry. Ninth one. What happened? Now you are little bit not uh, 
goes goes ninth one is goes and the chew and chew so goes okay goes ha huh? chew will not uh oh, okay you're looking at the ninth one are the second verb right our dog unlike our cats goes for long walks and chews on large bones yes that will also change this one also has to change okay both will have to change to singular forms in the ninth one goes and choose okay okay tenth one one of the bowls belong to his mother belongs one of the to belong belongs yeah okay one of the bowls belongs to his mother right singular construction uh 11th one the movie about drag queens from different parts of cuba intrigue margaret intrigues margaret intrigues margaret intrigues margaret okay intrigues margaret now you see this is a, a larger chunk as a subject right the movie about drag queens from different parts of cuba now you can add as many things as you want about drag queens from different parts of cuba okay or any other number of adjuncts you want any number of uh, uh, adverbial particles you want you can keep adding to this one but the subject still remains the same it's just the movie and the verb only is concerned with the subject and its number and the um uh, person right nothing else matters for the verb other than that so this will have to change to intrigue since movie is singular uh, during lunch teachers in the school grades papers or talks about plans for the weekend during lunch grade papers or talk about plans teachers in the school Grade, grade paper grade. or talk about plans for the weekend right why teachers is the true subject and yeah. it is plural so your verb also has to agree with it right uh fine then 13th one the roses in the greenhouse shows sensitivity to light shows show sensitivity to light ha huh, the roses in the greenhouse show sensitivity to light correct okay same same reason plural um subject plural verb so 14th one a group of skilled ballerinas perform brilliantly on stage each season in san francisco perform the songs a a group of skilled ballerinas perform brilliantly or performs brilliantly performs performs why group is a singular because group is singular. subject a group Yes, you are referring to a group of, which is singular reference. Okay, you are not talking about individual ballerinas. You are referring to a group of them, and that is definitely uh, used in a singular form. That's the answer. Okay, performs. That's right. Each of the carpenters hammer the board. Hammers. Hammers, hammers, hammers the board. Each of the carpenters hammers the board. Thus. Uh, although you are talking, there are more than one carpenters here, but since the reference is to each one each. of them which is individual carpenters we use the uh, singular form of the verb right so which makes the usage singular so each of the carpenters hammers the board then okay uh, nobody in the smith and sesio families care if ari eats the last piece of tiramisu yes yes yes, yes. 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 look at all of these construction a group of each of okay or nobody right all of them these uh, they they are categorized as indefinite pronouns right so all of these indefinite pronouns they will take singular verb form so okay, each every nobody each of either of neither of somebody nobody almost everybody all of them are going to take singular verb form. now 17th uh, one neither of the girls know how to shop for clothes knows knows neither of the girls knows how to shop for clothes okay now almost everyone play a sport at one time or other plays plays almost everyone plays a sport at one time or another 19 somebody have to close the windows before we leave has to close. has to has to somebody has to close the windows before we leave Twentieth one. No one in Sacramento bakeries. No one knows. Canaries. No one knows. 
knows. Again, no one in Sacramento of Eclipse knows how to make authentic candles. Okay, so this is part clear to you. For all indefinite pronouns, uh, the usage of verb is in its singular form. Uh, and uh, be careful about the phrases uh, that interfere between the subject and the verb. Uh, keep in mind that they don't affect the subject verb agreement or the number or the count of the subject you have there. And the verb only focuses on the number in the person of the subject and nothing that else to do. Okay. In case of or, you will have to make sure that uh, you know you follow the number and person of the subject that is closer to the verb. Okay. When you have and, your subject is compound, and by default it becomes a plural subject, and hence the verb follows the uh, plural form. For it. But so you don't have uh, anything much in this. You have uh, about. 20 questions more in this. Please have a look at them as you uh, go through the document. If you know to solve this much, then it should be good enough. The rest of the questions are also based on. Ma'am, some will also have the same effect, singular, or it will be a plural because we are talking about some, some children. Mm -hmm. How will you use it? Give me a sentence. Some is also an indefinite pronoun. It also follows the same. Question. Same singularity. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now article. Let's see this one. Uh, in case of articles, you can have certain places, especially when it comes to the usage of the. Uh, in terms of specific references or known references in certain sentences, the also goes. Uh, if nothing is specified in the options, or uh, usually when the context isn't mentioned, then we go by the choice of a and an rather than the. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, first one. Can you find me dash book on English grammar? A book. A book. A book. Can you say the book? Can you find me the book on English grammar? If it is already specified previously, ah, that, if it is already that particular. Okay, so say for example, I had I'm looking for a book. Can you find me the book on English grammar? Now, in that case, you know, since the context is specified, you can use the. Without that, usually it is a. Okay, can you find me a book on English grammar? Right. Uh, again, why? Because book is also countable now. So the article you will use along with it is a or an. And if you have uh, the uh, noun beginning vowel with a sound. vowel sound. Yes, correct. Now, the second one, here is dash book on English grammar. The. Ah, here is the book on English grammar. Or you can also say here is the book on English grammar. Mm -hmm. If the reference is generic, then you can also say here is the book. If it is specific, you can say uh, here is the book on English grammar. Okay? You can maybe say something like here is the book on English grammar that you were looking for. Something of that sort. Okay. Uh, third one, I like that strawberry ice. The... I would like a. I would like a strawberry ice cream. Okay, nothing specific here. I would like no. a strawberry ice cream. He says uh, he hasn't any stamps. This one doesn't have any articles. Do we need it anywhere? He says he hasn't any stamps. No. 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 Right. No, no, article. Article is not the only place that the article could take is uh, already been taken by a, a you know, a, a possessive. What is that? The demonstrative. So we don't have any space for the determiner. Really. No, no required. Not required at all. Fifth one. Who is dash is woman? The woman. Who is the, the woman. woman? You were talking to. Okay, correct. The woman. Why? Because it's specific. The person is asking for the specific woman who the person was talking to at lunch. So since specificity is already there in the context, the I am looking for dash hat that will go with my dress. An hat. A hat. Why an hat? Oh, hat. Don't have any... oh, oh, hat. Oh, hat. I am looking for a hat that will go with my dress. Can we say the hat that will go with my dress? If it has been previously mentioned, in this case, no, right? So here the answer has to be A since it is unspecific. Now look at seventh one. 
I am looking for dash hat that will suit me best. The hat. The hat, right? Yes, because uh, it is specific which suits her best. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Also, uh, the reference is when you say best, it has to be a unique thing, right? It cannot be uh, any ordinary hat that you're using, right? So when I say that I'm looking for something that is the most unique one, then I'll have to use the uh, definite article the along with it, right? Because that is only one of a kind. You don't have anything else that would suit you. This is the only one that you think will suit you. In that case, it becomes very specific, very unique. Hence, you use uh, the article the. Okay. Now, you can borrow either type. Do you need any? No. Article? No. No article required. Ah, no article required. We bought some furniture this morning. Not required. No, not required. Not required. Not required. Okay. Uh, can someone tell me dash time? The time. The time. Why the time? Because the time is fixed. Time is fixed and you're asking for a particular time, right? You're not asking for any time. When, yeah. when you're asking somebody for the time, you're, you're referring to the particular time that you want to know them. It's not any time that you're... Right. That's why. Now, 11, 12. There is no such beast as dash unicorn. There is no such beast as a unicorn. Okay, there is nothing. Uh, there is no such beast as a unicorn. Okay, not the unicorn because you're not referring to anything in specific. You're talking about uh, the, uh, you know, the imaginary being called unicorn in general. Okay, you're telling somebody nothing like that exists. Okay. Twelfth uh, one, dash train is late again. The train. The train. The train, the train, right? Specifically, the train that you're talking about. Yeah. You have to mention the context to give the specificity. Okay, so this is a case where you can guess it from the sentence itself that you're talking about the specific train and not any, right? Okay. Mm, then the 13th one, dash dinosaur has long been extinct. The dinosaur. The, the dinosaur. dinosaur. The dinosaur. The dinosaur has long been extinct. Okay. The dinosaur has long been. Poorly paid in this country. The teacher. Hmm. Do you need article there? The teachers. I think no article required. Teachers are no, poorly paid required. in this country. Teachers are mm. poorly paid in this country. We're talking about teachers as a whole. right? We're referring to the class of them. And so you don't have to use a definite article there. You can simply say teachers are poorly paid in this country. That's fine. The is unnecessary. You don't need to use any article. Okay. Uh, he came on dash small market where women were selling dried beans. I think a small market. Ah, a small market where women were selling dry beans. Okay. Why not the? Because they are not a big market. Ah, okay. Nothing. No, the context does not give you anything specifically. Right. It's just a, uh, just a minor description of what the small market is. Right. So a small market where women were uh, selling dried beans. The 16th one, beans are dash highly efficient form of nutrition. The, 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 like, huh? The, the beans not, are, they call it, the beans are, yeah, yeah, A is the answer. Beans are a highly efficient form of nutrition. A highly efficient form of uh, nutrition. Okay. We, 17th one, we rebuilt Dash Kitchen in just four weeks. The kitchen. Mm -hmm. Particular kitchen they are talking about. The kitchen. A kitchen, maybe. The kitchen. 
ऑप्शनली then what we should choose yeah. you won't get any choices like that until you okay. know uh, the context is specified okay okay if yeah. you have a and the uh, in the exam uh, your choice should be mostly a uh, not the okay the because okay. usually you use the only if you can you know if the sentence gives you a contextual understanding then you can if both you get mark for both that's all okay 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 but but if the situation or the context is unspecified and you cannot guess it from there then you mostly go by a although the is uh, grammatically correct uh, contextually it may not be right so if you cannot guess the context from the sentence then probably you should only be using the um, article a not the okay uh, and guys or uh, 16 we are using a uh, beans normally the we use for plural and beans are plural so why or, or we can go without any article no uh, the usage is a highly efficient form of nutrition okay so what is the concept means what is the how how we are deciding here i think the article is referring to the form not the beans yes ma'am you are not audible article comes before nutrition no so what is nutrition what is the form of nutrition what word class is it is it noun or noun. adjective noun right is it ma'am you are not audible Ma'am, you are not audible. Wait, wait. Okay, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. No, okay. but we cannot see the PDF. Yeah, yeah, I'll send it. I must have been logged out of the meeting. That's uh, just a minute. Okay, so the question you're asking, see, nutrition is still a noun, right? And if it is a noun, then you will have to uh, uh, follow everything that is required to complete its uh, syntactic arrangement. And articles is a requirement there, right? so uh, everything else you see here highly efficient they are all uh, modifiers and this ma'am again you are not audible i am not sure why this is happening uh, am i still not audible now you are no. audible okay yeah i'm saying nutrition is a noun so since articles is something that you use nouns it has to go here also okay the problem uh, here is uh, that you have multiple things here like highly efficient and several other more many other you put even article is a necessary uh, modifier or a determiner that has to go with the noun this is why you use it okay Ma'am, you are not audible. Okay, I am unsure why this is happening. Actually, <laughs> your whole explanation, <laughs> you were not means I couldn't. Okay. Uh, Can you hear me, please? Now, now you are audible. 
Okay, okay. All I was saying is that nouns require to have articles along with it. In this case, you have nutrition. No matter how many other modifiers you have, like highly or efficient, you cannot skip on the articles. That is all. Okay, ma'am. Uh, nouns. Again, right? you are not audible. Okay. This is it's really something is wrong with the internet here. Uh, Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, can you follow? Is it audible or not? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, I do not know. There's some sort of uh, internet fluctuation. Sorry about this. But now it is clear, ma'am. Okay. okay. All right. Um, okay. For the last time, I was just saying that nutrition, since it's also a noun, it will have to follow the requirement of having an article. No matter how many other modifiers you have, like highly or efficient or anything, you put in anything you want, but you cannot skip the article. Right? That's what I meant. Okay. Uh, so uh, which is, that is why you're using A here. And the article A that we have used here is not related to beans, it's related to nutrition. Right? This is also something that you have to keep in mind. Okay, get this. I hope I was at least audible now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, fine. So, uh, where were we? 18th. 18th. Okay. Uh, dash people who throw stones shouldn't live in greenhouses. No article required, I guess. No article. No article. We don't need any article because generic reference, you don't have to put any article here, right? Uh, people who throw stones shouldn't uh, live in greenhouses. Correct. 19th one. History graduates have dash. Oh, hard time. time. Oh, hard, oh, hard time. time. This is again similar to what you were asking for 16th one, highly efficient form of nutrition. Have a hard time finding jobs. Okay. You have hard here already, but the reference is with respect to time. So, uh, since it is a noun, we'll have to use the article also here. We cannot skip it. Articles are very essential part of uh, classifying nouns. Okay. Uh, it's one thing. Then the last one dash standard bed, not be right for everyone. Uh, a, standard uh, bed. a standard bed may not be right for everyone. Okay. Same reason. Again, this is also a case like the first one. Standard is an adjective, but then that does not mean you skip the uh, articles because it uh, uh, tells you whether the noun is countable or uncountable. And in other situations, it also tells you what is specific and what is uh, generic. Right. So, because of that, articles are necessary even if you have other modifiers. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was on articles. Now quickly on uh, the question on uh, uh, idioms and phrases. This one, of course, uh, comes through only practice. We'll see how many we can, uh, how many of them you know. Uh, don't worry if you don't know, because you can uh, build on this. And this happens a little slow. We'll have to slowly take it and build on it one by one. Uh, let's see what we have here for today. The first one. He has the gift of the gab. What does he, gift of the gab here mean? He's a tetrabox. He's, he's a tetrabox. C. Okay. When you say gift of the gab, it has to be a positive meaning, right? Okay. So see, he's a What is the meaning of gab? Meaning of gab. Uh, gab is something that goes on and on automatically. Okay. Something that does not phase any uh, between. Okay. Am I audible? I have to keep checking on this now once in a while. Did you hear me or not? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Yes? Yes, okay. ma'am. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, where is it? Not see the document. Okay, all right. Second one, parental property has become a bone of contention between the siblings. Ma'am, what is the answer for question number one? See, he's a good conversationalist. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, it means spontaneous. Somebody who uh, is spontaneous at speaking. That is what the gab, the word gab means uh, continuous or at length or uh, spontaneous or something. So in that sense, the good conversations. Okay. Two. Parental property has become a bone of contention between siblings. What's the answer? Cause of quarrel. Ha, cause of quarrel. Okay. Not cause of rivalry. Not just rivalry, but also quarrel. Serious situation. Right. Uh, bone of contention means cause of quarrel. Second one, B. Then the third one, once in a blue moon, we meet each other. So frequently, sometimes, Some seldom. 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 Some beach. Seldom. 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 Okay. Once in a blue moon means very rarely. And, rare. Uh, very rare. So C is the answer. Seldom means that. Very rare. Okay. So seldom indeed C is the answer. Fourth one. He has been jobless for several months and it is his wife who keeps the pot boiling. A. Pot boiling. Keeps the fire burning. Avoids starvation. Keep, keeps. What is that? Something. B. B. Uh, yes, Option B. B. A starvation. A is keeps the fire burning. No, that is not the answer. B. I thought I'm A because uh, hmm. keeps the fire burning. I thought it's like who keeps the fire burning. Keeps the kitchen another... on, like. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that is another idiom. We are asking for the meaning. No. Okay. Ah, so B should be the um, right answer. Okay, in this case, to maintain some things, you know, keep from starvation mostly. In this case, to keep from starvation. Hmm? Uh, fifth one. In the end, he had to eat the humble pie. Apologize hey. humbly, defend himself vigorously, adopt an aggressive attitude. Apologize. A, right? A. Eat the humble pie is apologize humbly. Okay. Sixth one. To be a good orator, you don't have to play to the galleries. Play to the galleries means make a make fool of a yourself fool of at the audience. Appeal to the lower taste. Appease select audience. A. Appease select play to the audience. galleries. Uh -huh. Play to the galleries particularly means appeal to the lower taste. Now, why is this? People who sit in the galleries are not expert. Right? They're just uh, audience. They're just watching the general people. They do not know in detail about what they are knowing. So to play to the galleries, the most appropriate choice would be appeal to lower taste. Okay. Yeah. Seventh one, the officer took him to task. B. Taking someone to task. Ha, B. Reprimanded him severely. Okay. To rebuke somebody or to reprimand someone is what is meant, right? Uh, taking someone to task. Eight one. Jack has egg bash because he couldn't remember how to spell Batman. So egg on his teeth, egg on his face, egg on his shirt, egg on his fingers. This is the correct expression. On his face. Ah, uh, egg on his face. On his right? teeth. On his face means what? No, no. Egg on his face. Okay. When you have egg on your face, what does it mean? No, an embarrassing situation, right? Where you were ashamed because you couldn't remember how to spell Batman in this case or in whatever cases you know you can use. It means to be embarrassed, to be ashamed. So egg on his face. Ninth one, uh, as the maestro lifted his baton, the theater was so still you could hear up his drop. heartbeat. A pin drop, bird wing. A pin drop. A pin drop. A pin drop. Right, so another expression you have is a pin drop silence. So yes. this comes from that. Now, tenth one. I don't agree with you, but your idea certainly gives me food for fun, for consider, for thought, for thinking. Thinking. Thought. Thought. Food thought. for thought. That is the expression. Food for thought means something that can be taken seriously for consideration. Right. Food for thought. Eleven. I think I understand the nuts and dash of the operation. Screws nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. Right? That's the usage by itself. Nuts and bolts of the operation means I know all the details of the operation. Now, I'm afraid hip hop is in my cup of tea. 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 My cup of tea. You know, something that is of no interest to you. Uh, 13. 
just a moment i have got the answer on the dash of my tongue tip of tip my tongue of my tongue tip of my tongue right okay look i will pay you back would you please call the hunters of tigers of dogs of dogs of dogs of dogs of right dogs of uh, ever since he married jane he has had a new what does calling the dogs of mean Would you please call the dogs off? Stop attacking, right? Means stop attacking or stop bothering. Fifteenth, ever since he married Jane, he's had a new dash on life: rent, lease, title, loan. Title. Okay, this is an expression you should know. This is a good one. Lease on life. Okay, a new lease on life means a new way of looking at uh, something, right? Lease on life. <clears throat> 16 oh i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that i guess i really put my dash in my mouth foot hand elbow knee foot 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 in my mouth okay foot in my mouth something that is that foot in my mouth means something that shouldn't have been said saying something that shouldn't have been said 17 i'll be back in the twinkling of an eye a lightning bolt a smile an eye an eye an eye okay an eye So it means quickly. Eighteenth, my friend is as dash these days. He never gets time. To as relax. busy as a bee. Ah, uh, as busy as a bee. Okay, as busy as a bee. Nineteenth, you need to dash for this problem. It requires a lot of concentration. Place your thinking cap. Wear some good clothes. Put on your thinking cap. Put on your helmet. You have to put, put on, on your thinking cap. Put on put your on thinking cap. Your Correct. Put on your thinking cap. This requires a lot of uh, concentration. Twentieth one. Franklin went from dash life to life. Sorry. Uh, he started his career. Franklin to riches. Ah, uh, he started with nothing and ended up a very rich person. So, rags, rags to riches. riches. Rags to riches. Right. Went from rags to riches. My boss dash it worked because it was my first way. Played me the ropes, asked me the ropes, showed me the ropes, told me the ropes. Showed Played me the ropes. ropes. Showed me the ropes. Showed me the ropes. Okay, hmm. showed me the ropes because what this is your first mean? way. Showed me the ropes means to introduce you to things, right? Initiate you into things. So, okay. like you say, no, I will show you around. What does that mean? That I will introduce you to things. Okay. This is your first way, and your boss showed you the ropes means introduce and initiated you. Okay. Twenty okay. second. I am sure the situation will improve. It will work out for the better. Work out for the best. Work out. Work into the best. Work out of the best. Work out for the better. No. Will improve. Work out work for out the best. For the best. Work out for the best. Okay. It will work out for the best. Is how you. That's the usage. Hmm? Okay. All right. So uh, these were a few questions that uh, could cut us on for phrasal verbs and other uh, topics. Okay, for agreement, you have another set of twenty uh, questions there. Please uh, have a look at them once you have the documents uh, with you. Right. Uh, that's all. That's all I have for today. Any questions? I'm can't we finish those twenty right now? It will hardly take ten minutes. You can do that. I don't have a problem. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it. But don't you want anything to do on your own? Now we'll do it again. Okay. Anyways, we don't have answer key, so we have to do it. Okay. Twenty first. Some some of the children fails to learn to read by age seven. Ma'am, which number? Twenty first. Twenty one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Fail. 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 Some of the children fail. fail to learn. Fail. Fail. Some of the children fail. fail. to uh, learn to read by age 7 okay some of the water evaporates before used evaporate oh, evaporate some of the water evaporates before used this one you will have to uh, look at what your uh, um, you know 
uh, for some i think you'll have to some of the in each of the none of the it is okay but in case of uh, some of the construction you will have to uh, look at what the uh, you know countable and uncountable nouns and the plural and singular things some of the children fail to uh, uh, learn to read by age 7 some of the water evaporates before used okay so this this question is okay 20 second is uh, correct okay evaporates before used so there should not be any change in 20 second no 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 change because no water, water is uncountable right water is okay. uncountable all of the art interest me interest. all of the art interest me all of the art interest me no change mm -hmm. why so art is like uh, hmm. you have art souls so okay keep that in mind why would you uh, choose to keep it as an unchanged work form i have no reason no reason i just it just feel good what to me about it Because it's talking about all that. Right, right. So when you have some of all of construction, I told you just now that you have to look at the noun that follows. So is art singular or plural? Singular. 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 Is singular. No. Okay. So all. So all of the art. So we should take it like a plural. Okay. Is art. सिंगुलर फॉर्म ऑल ऑफ दी आर्ट इंटरेस्ट मीके इंटरेस्ट S in ah, mean. Interest. Ha, ah, interest me. All of the art interests okay. me. Okay. Now, all of the lions frighten children who visit the zoo. Is that correct? Sentence twenty-four. All of the lions frighten children. Frighten. Okay. Mm. Frighten. Correct. Lions countable, no? It's plural. So, frighten. Frighten. Okay. Plural. Okay. Fine. Fine. The sentence is okay. All of the lines, bright and children. Okay, because lines is plural. You can count it also. So the verb has to be plural. Some of the forest look dead. Twenty fifth one. Dead. Some of the forest looks look dead. dead. Looks dead. Looks, looks, looks dead. dead. Looks dead. Yeah, correct. Tonight, I mean, twenty four visit. Who visit the zoo? All of the lions frighten children who visit the zoo. Hmm. Yes. Children who visit the zoo. Children is again plural, no? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Of course, we. Ah, oh, yeah. Twenty-sixth one. Um. There are. Too many stars in the sky. Tonight there are too many stars in the sky to count. Okay, oh. there are too many. Again, this there are there is construction also depends upon the count of the noun in the nature of the noun um, that follows it. Okay, if it is plural, then the verb has to be plural. Singular, then verb has to be singular. So here, because you have stars, you're going to use are instead of is. There are too many stars in the sky to count. There were several birds with clipped wings that Helen could choose from. There were several. There were right. There were several birds because birds are plural. Now on the table there is there three are white. Three. Marks. There are three, there are there three are, white marks. Correct. There are three white marks. There is crowds of people protesting. 
the war in front of the capitol building there are Are, there are, are because crowds are. it also proved yeah, because crowds correct there are crowds of people correct there was many reasons that i could write my or there were. were many reasons were. correct there were many reasons at the end of the street there was many dogs begging the matter there were so, there were um, many dogs yes correct 32 tonight there was many people at the restaurant there were were okay. were Uh, there were many people at the restaurant. Now, a pile of books sit before her. Sit, sits, because a pile, pile of books is singular. Sit. Pile is singular. Uh, a pile of books sits before her. Uh. Ha ha. Okay, a pile of books sit. Be- Ma'am, you are not audible. Can you not hear me, guys? I'm now audible. Now we can. Now audible. Okay. Yeah. Ha. Huh. So pile of books. Um, sit oh. or six. 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 Because pile is singular. Six. Uh, a pile because pile is, because what pile is singular okay a pile uh, a pile is correct but uh, my question is do you consider that as a whole or do you just consider pile because it's pile of books put together no you have a partitive phrase usually uh, which is partitive means an off phrase the one which carries an off <clears throat> So See, whenever you are countable, book, then uh, it is plural. Yeah, and then listen to me. Sit. Listen to me. Listen to me. Whenever you have off phrases uh, in a given this thing, usually you follow the. You will have to look at the noun that follows off in order to decide the subject verb. Okay. <clears throat> Get this? Okay, ma'am. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Ah. Right. So to so look at the. Um, subject that sorry the the noun that follows it and then decide your uh, answer okay so a pile of or uh, uh, you know uh, uh, see whether the noun that follows your um, of phrase is a, a singular one or a plural one okay so here you have books so what will you say it will be sit huh sit sit s i t hmm yes okay Uh, a pile of uh, books sit. Uh, that's the question. Ha, uh, sit before her. So it's okay. No problem with this. Uh, nobody on the trip know how to change the tire or jump start. Nose. 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 Because you have indefinite pronoun, right? Nobody. So we know they take singular verbs. Nose. Nose. How to change? There are six reasons that the giants are, are going. There are. Uh, there are six reasons. reasons. Correct. A big group of women now searching for jobs are having no luck. A big group of women now searching for jobs are having no luck. no change. A no big change group of, women. of women. We have to follow. Okay, of women. Yes, correct. So, no change. Are having no product. job then. If we have to follow women, no, not jobs. Why will you follow jobs? That's not the subject. No. Subject is a big group of women. Okay, so singular, so jobs. Yeah. Ah, uh-huh. a big group of women now searching for jobs are having no luck. Women, no, it is plural. So you are going to use a plural verb along with this. Of phrases, I just told you, you will have to follow the count of the noun. Okay. Then thirty-seven. Ha. Huh. Everybody in the kitchen know how to make. Nose. 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 Uh, every night. Every night, all of the water evaporates. Every night, all of the water all of evaporates. The water no changes. Evaporates. Ha. Huh. All of the water evaporates because water is evaporates. uncountable. Evaporates. Hmm? Okay. Now, thirty-nine. Some of the women tell different stories. Some of the women tell different stories.
some change. of no change. No change. No change. Some no of change. the women's here. Yeah. Some of the women, it's uh, women is already plural and you've used a plural word. So no change. Now, uh, in the band, last one, in the band, some of the trombone players stands during their solos. Stand. Stand. Players. Stand. 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 players so you'll use stand. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all. That's all. Thank you system. very much, ma'am. No problem. Um, so please uh, have a look at this for you. Practice for your questions for your answer. I hope this was useful. I try to pack in as much as possible. <clears throat> uh, this should be enough. I think we've discussed a few topics which I thought are a little difficult. The rest of them are fine. They're okay. You can just go through the lectures and you'll be fine. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Then. I mean, general, can you tell us where to more focus? Which weeks? You have to focus on. Oh, see, the weightage is equal for all the uh, modules. But uh, if you are uh, good and you know done and dusted with the first eight weeks, then maybe you can focus a little bit more on the last uh, week, uh, last four weeks. But I would not uh, go as far as to say that you spend uh, more time on the last four modules. I would tell you, please, uh, you know, distribute your time equally between all the modules. We don't have a provision where we give more weightage to one module over the other. It's equal weightage. So uh, be prepared with everything. Have summary points prepared for all the modules and practice. Okay. Use these materials that you have. Uh, of course, you have. Ma'am, you're not from everywhere okay okay it keeps showing me uh, unstable internet connection uh, can you hear me am yes, i out of now now okay. Right. Okay, okay. yeah so i'm saying equal weightage uh, we don't have a provision for uh, you know focusing on one over the other uh, just use all the materials that you have uh, uh, diligently so that you can answer them. Uh, in grammar, the ones that I have discussed with you in the uh, sessions and particularly in the past two sessions, uh, if you're able to ace it, then uh, you can uh, perform well for your exams. Okay, Especially those uh, plural markers, uh, the aspiration, syllables, hmm, stress, uh, and uh, these, the ones that we discussed today. If you have a good grasp on all of these things, then I think more than 70% of the paper should be all right for you. Okay. okay Thank you, ma'am. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, what is BSN? It is not BSNL. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, I want to check one thing with other friends. Uh, has math, mathematics marks released it? Mail they have said, but it's not yet released. I want to check with others. What marks? Yeah, it's marks. Uh, mark, mark nine. Mathematics mark, mark nine. They told Wait a moment. they will okay. release, but they didn't release it. Uh, is for you? Is it available? I want to check. Give me a moment. Yeah, yeah, available. It has come. Yes, it's visible now. Oh, now it has come. Okay, try to check. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. And I hope thank you, ma'am. Wonderful session. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much. And thank all you, the thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next session on Saturday again. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. See you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay.